G'day guys, so this is my new Turnergy remote. I've been really happy with it so far. I replaced my old remote here, that Radiolink AT10. It was really good until the bolt behind the, um, the neck strap there came out and fried some of the circuit. It is now dead, so I figured I'd get one with a backlink screen. And this one was even um, cheaper. Um, so, yeah, I've got it all installed now. So I've got the receiver in there. It's on PPM mode. I just did the um, firmware upgrade by Hobby King to be able to do that. I've then got a voltage sensor coming down here. I've got the external um, server that's also plugged into the iBus of this. The reason I had to use that is because for some reason when you go to PPM mode, this will only use channels 1 to 8. So for the top two channels, 9 and 10, I just use this, which is for my um, gimbal tilt and roll. So no big issue there. It's no big. At least it all came with these um, iBus devices. I would have been a bit annoyed if I could only use eight channels in PPM mode. But fortunately, with what was included in the kit, I was able to use all 10. So now I'll take you through what I did to get the all six flight modes, because as you can see, I am using the Pixhawk and I wanted to use all the options possible for the flight modes. So I saw a couple of different videos on um, YouTube for this and they were both quite confusing. They both used two different techniques. Um, one used the linear mixes alone and one used conditions. So I just wanted to take you through this because my way uses the conditions which allows you to give a name to them which obviously there's only five conditions here which was frustrating I would have liked six but five is better than nothing so when you go back to your main screen if you click into your trim or whatnot you can actually see what condition you can actually see what mode you're in which I thought was handy so um, yeah we'll go into the way that I did it so I gave each one of these a name the top one you can't change the anything because it's default position second one I went in called it attitude selected a switch gave it switch A which is a three position switch and then you've got a two position switch here so the three position is what I put to attitude. I also put it to, so as you saw for attitude, it was in the top position. For loiter, I put it on the middle position. Oh, sorry, I'll take that back. For attitude, I put it in the middle position because the default manual is when it was up. So middle position for attitude. So when it's up, it's in manual. When it's in attitude, it's in um, the middle position. For loiter, it's in the bottom position, as you can see here. So that's the first three channels set up. Then I wanted condition four, which is going to be for both auto and circle. And that is when switch C is down. Switch A would be up. And return to land. Now that's going to be when... Now I set a logic switch for this which is made up, I'll have to show you what that made up of. I did forget to mention the logic switches, so here's logic switch. So I did a logic switch, which is switch A and switch C. And switch A is in the middle and switch C is down. I don't think I had to do that, but that's just the way that I figured it out to be. So then you got a linear switch. Now every time you're in a different condition, so we're currently in the default condition, so none of the um, none of the mixes need to be on. So as soon as you go to the first click down, and then in attitude mode, we'll click into linear mixes. You'll see the first mix is on. Now I set that to the master to variable knob B, which is an unused variable knob there, and mode, which is obviously our flight modes and channel five. I then set the offset, you have to just go into your mission planner and just observe what your current PWM is, which is up here, 
and then it should highlight so obviously it's within that range so it highlights attitude so I'll go back to manual see it flicks back up into attitude hold there which is the media mix I will then get back out and go to um, loiter which is then another different that's my mix too which once again just set the variable um, the master to a knob that you're not using slave is the mode and your offset is minus 80 so you'll need to scroll around to get the right um, offset there percentage so once again I'll get out of that I'll go back to the top with my three position go to my bottom position with switch C Um, go to linear mixes again you'll see mix 1 see for each condition it actually um, has its own set of mixes because that's the point of condition switches it sets up within if that condition is current you'll only get these settings so for mix 1 on this condition I've got once again variable knob B mode and now it's at 94 percent I can go back again We'll go to the second position, linear mixes. Now mix two's on. We're at plus sixty percent offset. I'll go back again and we should see. So now I've just switched it down to the lowest position on switch A. We've got a linear position again. Now I've got mix three, which is at zero percent offset. And I'll show you what that means when we go to display servos. Right, so in manual, which it shows you the condition at the top, which is also handy. So we've got manual, attitude, and each of these has a different value. Loiter. So that's all with this switch. I'll then do the same with the top switch. We'll go to auto slash circle. So in auto slash circle, the top position is auto. Circle is the second one down. And return to land. So all of those have a different um, PWM which matches the required in Mission Planner. So that's basically how I did it. Any questions just obviously throw them in under the video. Um, I did rush through it but just pause it and slowly go through it and you'll, um, um, you'll figure it out eventually. So they just didn't end. I'll show you what it means by the end condition. So we've got switch A in the middle, which is here. And we've got, which shows you there, switch one on, it's gone on. And then the switch two is down. So I'll go to down. Oops, sorry, switch C is down and switch A is middle. See now you see all the parameters are on and that means the logic switch is now on. Hopefully that gives you guys um, some info on setting that up. Um, and just remember with the um, IA10 or whatever the code is of the actual receiver that comes with the kit, it can be used with the Pixhawk. It just needs to have the firmware updated with the transmitter. All done through the provide um, USB which is another thumbs up hope that is all clear and um, yeah I'll leave you to it happy flying